<sighs> okay. I have made it to Miami. Woo. Um, I guess I should say, hey, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to this vlog. Um, you should like, subscribe, do all those things. They're free. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I just made it to Miami. This is going to be like my first um, solo trip. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I made a reservation for dinner uh, for about an hour from now. Um, so I think I'm gonna change into maybe like a little bit more comfortable clothing. And then I think I'm gonna walk there. It's really hot and humid out. I just wanna walk, I just miss walking. So I'm gonna walk. Um, I'll show you all the room really quickly. So you come into the room, it's just like, you know, it's just me, so this is, more than enough space. I really wanted to stay somewhere where there was a balcony, like some outdoor space on the room. So I'm, I'm mostly just like hype about this. Um, I don't really know how like hashtag like private it is, but you know, it's private enough for me. Just a little table, just so I can enjoy some outdoor time for when I'm reading whatever. Um, little TV. And this is the bathroom. Pretty low light in the bathroom. But it's cute. Kind of subway tile in the bathroom. Blah, blah, blah. So. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this suitcase. Also, like, <laughs> wait, I packed for a lot of days in this suitcase. Um, and this, like, this is the regular carry-on from away. And let me tell you, like, there is low-key a lot of give. Like, the bottom and, like, side, it's kind of, like, bulging out. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, but this little bag, it is, it is a keeper. Like this is the in this is like the inside of the bag. I really stuffed it to the brim. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use the packing cubes on the way back. I also don't know what I'm about to put on right now. I don't know. Should I just put on a dress or something? Ugh. Okay. This is what I changed into. <clears throat> Camo like pants from. American Eagle, and then this like little denim peplum shirt from there. And then I'll be carrying a little purse, obviously. But uh, yeah, simple. salad with like avocado and cucumber and I don't really know what else but it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be so this is a trout it smells amazing this is the dessert a key lime tart Wow, this is so good. Whoa. 10 out of 10. I just got back in from dinner. I like walked along Ocean Drive just to see like what it was like. It's the off season, so it's not as crowded as usual. Um, but it looks like there's like some, some fun bars and things and whatever. Um, 
except just like I went to Walgreens to get some water and like there was this man who was in front of me in the checkout line who like looked at me and like he purchased this stuff and he was like lingering in Walgreens and I was like oh god like I really like I just don't want any problems right now in my life um so he like walks out of Walgreens and as I'm walking out of Walgreens I can see him like standing to the right of the door and I'm like okay I'm like he's just kind of standing there should I stay in Walgreens should I like whatever and I was like who like I I was like okay I'm just gonna like walk out and I like cut really hard to the left um but then he ends up following me for like a block and like it's super crowded out so I wasn't like I was in any sort of like immediate danger or at least you know like not really because like there were just like so many people out that yeah not in immediate danger but it's still just like really like nerve-wracking to be out at night walking alone and like you know that a man is following you so I was like literally like looking like as I was like approaching restaurants and bars like looking to see like is there a woman inside like at the you know at the little hostess thing or whatever like is there a group of women like at a sidebar cafe that I can just like stop and act like I know them because it's just like that's what goes through your mind when you're a woman and you're alone and you're like I need to get out of this situation so I don't know if there are any dudes watching this. It's it's not flattering, it's not cute. Like don't follow women on the street. It's it's really scary for us. Um so he eventually caught up with me. Um, because there was just like this crazy bottleneck of foot traffic. Couldn't really do anything about it. He caught up with me and he was like, I waited for you. And I was like, okay, like, alright. And he was like, like, you're really pretty. And I was like, I'm not interested. He's like, are you here alone? I was like, no, I'm not. He's like, are you here on vacation? I was like, yes. He's like, okay, we'll have a good vacation. But I'm just like, I literally, I hate men. <sighs> I hate men so much. But, end rant. I'm going to, I can't figure out how to turn the lights off in here. I feel like a, a dummy, but can't figure out how to turn the lights off. So I'm going to ask a woman at my desk. How to turn the freaking lights off in here and I'm gonna take a shower. Um, I booked two yoga classes for tomorrow, so I'm pretty pumped about that. The first one is like a power class, it's like a 15 minute walk from here. Um, and then the other one is a I think it's a power class, but it's like focused on inversion, so I'm pumped about that. But that one's like a 15 minute drive, um, so I'll probably take an Uber there. So one's in the morning, one's in the afternoon. Um, and then probably just be like eating in the middle of the day. I don't know, hanging out, we'll see. But yeah, so I'm gonna like get myself ready to go to sleep. It's like 11 o'clock I think. Um, dinner was so good, such a long meal. We don't do that enough in the United States. Um, had a really good chat with a lot of the folks that work there and I got some good recommendations for restaurants, so pumped about that but anyways I'm gonna go ahead figure out how to turn these lights off and then get to bed so I will see you all in the a.m. good morning um, it's about 8:30. I just got dressed and I'm gonna walk over to a yoga class I'm like sweating, sweating, but just found the yoga studio. <laughs> the door is locked at the studio, so I'm gonna like wait a couple minutes to see if anyone's here. The class is on the schedule. Um, I'm like 10 minutes early, so I would think the door would be open. But we'll see.
I just called an Uber heading to another yoga class. This time at Soul Yoga. Um, and it's an inversion like workshop type deal. So I'm excited about that. Inversion slash like arm balances. So yeah. This is like what I want my own studio to look like. I just got back to the hotel from the, uh, the second yoga class I took. That one was at Seoul. Yoga, I took a class at Julianne and it was, like I said, when I was at the studio, it was like the best class I've ever taken. And I say that because just <clears throat> the pace of the class, like the music, everything was so good. and. She really taught the class like a conversation, like psh, like it was an interaction between us and her and she was clear um, and it was a focused class. It was just absolutely amazing. We worked on splits and handstands. Um, I think the class was 75 minutes. Um, so that was pretty sweet. And yeah, she had some of the same songs in her playlist that I have on my playlist. So that's always fun when that happens. Cause I'm like, yeah. We're seeing eye to eye here. Um, so I just got back. I stopped and got a green smoothie. Um, spinach, pear, kiwi. I don't know how to add ginger. I don't remember what else in it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a shower and then rest for a little bit. Probably real life take a nap. I like went to bed a little late yesterday and like got up early to go to yoga this morning. And then that first yoga class was like terrible. I'm gonna like write a review. Um, the instruction was late, like no one was at the studio at class time. Um, and I know like things happen, but then it was like, <laughs> and some things like beyond our control as teachers. So like the fire alarm started going off during the class. There wasn't a fire alarm, I guess it was just kind of like an emergency alarm. So it was like, this alarm would go off and then a voice would come over and be like, there's been an emergency report in the building, please exit the building. But then it was like, shh, as, like the instructor like didn't address it, like didn't say like, oh, it's okay, like we don't need to leave. Like she just, like she didn't address it, which I thought was very odd. Um, it takes all kinds when it comes to yoga. So the people there, like they go there regularly and there seems to be a good community there, but it just was not, uh, it wasn't for me, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go shower. Peace out, girl scout. Okay, I am about to head out for dinner. I'm wearing this little printed frilly dress from Aritzia um, with just some little like elephant espadrille things. I'm heading to Lincoln Road Mall. I'm gonna go to Sushi Samba, but first I'm gonna stop at Finish Line to buy some socks with my $10 birthday credit. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. I'm gonna bring along my um my little yoga journal. So I think I'm gonna like write out some part of a sequence or something um, while I'm at dinner just because I'm feeling inspired from the class that I took today. So, um, yeah, I love that. Um, it was like totally a class that I didn't know that I needed, um, but did and I feel like this trip is just a bit of a recalibration, like a check-in um, for me and like my yoga practice. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm gonna write some sequences out tonight, or at least one. Let's not get too ambitious, but I'm gonna work on one. Okay, I'm wearing this dress, and like, it's all cute and stuff, but like, it's windy, and I mean, the wind blows, and we're getting like full frontal flash here. So I've like switched my bag over to the other side so that it um 
provide some weight to the dress, but I might have to take an Uber back to the hotel so that I'm not flashing people. But we're making it so far. <laughs> It's Friday afternoon. It's um, a little after three o'clock and I need to get moving. Um, I've been working remote today mostly. Um, so I just grabbed breakfast here at the hotel and then I'm gonna actually go somewhere for lunch now. I'm going to go to Yardbird, um, which I'm pretty pumped about. Um, it seems really, really yummy. So I'm gonna head there now continue working through lunch and then pop back to the hotel, work a little bit more probably, and then, um, yeah, do other things. So, see you all at Yardbird. Okay, it's it's a few hours later. I left my camera here when I went to yoga earlier. Class was amazing. I'm gonna take class again tomorrow morning, um, which I like didn't bring enough like workout clothes. Um, and at first I was like, oh, I'll just rewear something, but honestly, my, it's disgusting. Like that's so gross. So I was like, you know what? Like it's my birthday trip. I'm just gonna go treat myself. So I made a stop at um, Athleta and Lululemon. So. I'll show that stuff in a bit. I picked up some pizza on the way back to the hotel, so I wanna go ahead and enjoy that and then pack my bag up, get things ready since I'm leaving tomorrow, and um, I'll show you all the stuff that I got a little bit later, or tomorrow, I don't know. Cool. <music> Um, it's around 9 a.m. I decided to kind of sleep in today. I'm gonna walk over to the water um, right now. I haven't really like been over there, but I think I'm really just realizing that I'm more of a mountain girl instead of a water girl, but that's fine. I figured I'm here, so I should just kind of walk over to the beach. I really hate the sand. Um, so I'm just gonna go over and like see the water. I think water's pretty, but I really hate sand. Um, and then we'll come back, have breakfast, and head to yoga, and yeah. So, I'm um, wearing this set that I got from Athleta yesterday. It's kind of this cool like emerald um, green color, a small in the leggings, a medium in the top, and then like, we've got some, maybe, what? <laughs> this should work, maybe? Kind of like you can like kind of see like I've got some strappy strappy back there. Um, big fan of this fit. It fits really really well. Overall pleased with it. I love Athleta. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a move on and get out of here and come back. Okay, so I'm about to leave um, the hotel and then head over to yoga. But this is kind of my solo. My first solo trip is coming to an end. So. Um, I just wanted to like share a bit about like why I wanted to take the trip and kind of like how I feel about it overall. Um, and really just like I started listening to a lot of travel podcasts and I can link the blog post below that I wrote about some of my favorite travel podcasts and they were really like podcasts that were geared towards women and it really never even like had crossed my mind until like earlier this year, um, kind of late last year to even solo travel. It was not kind of a space that I knew anything about, um, but I just started listening to these podcasts and um, these women just kind of shared these amazing stories about traveling alone and the things that they learned about themselves. And kind of one common thread was just 
I'm learning how to be alone and enjoy your own company and how being alone like isn't necessarily the same thing as being lonely but also dealing with like feelings of like loneliness and like knowing that they'll pass um but also like these women i just thought were like adventurous and were so secure with themselves and with the idea that the world is a safe place to be in alone i thought that that was like cool um so for me it was just like these were women i mean i've never met them but um I thought that what they were doing was admirable and cool and I was like I want to be like them um, so that's kind of like how I got here uh, to taking this trip alone um, and then also I just kind of was feeling like I needed to take a step back from like all of everything like in Chicago so just like work and teaching and friends and all that stuff um, just to like take some time to chill and just like do the things I want to do like in a hyper focused way which for me was um, practice yoga um, so that was kind of I wanted to just like get out and I hadn't been practicing enough um, and I wanted to like take some classes at some different studios and, and meet some different people um, so kind of what I really did here was I really just like ate and I practiced yoga that was it um, I had to work yesterday remote which was cool and I'm grateful that I have that flexibility to do that um so this was like definitely like a short trip but I'm overall like really pleased and I got to like do some stuff for my blog do some stuff for YouTube like practice yoga I started writing this really cool sequence um then I don't think I would have like had the space to do these things like had I just kind of spent this time like in Chicago this weekend um so that was like really cool um, and I'd say like overall this is definitely something that I would do again, um, like solo travel. I have nothing but good things to say about it and I think that every woman should do it, like no matter your age, um, just to really have like time for yourself and to just like do the things that you want to do and like for me that was the best thing where it's like I could take two yoga classes in one day because I wanted to where like most people would be like, oh, like we already worked out and I'm like let's go. Um, so it was cool that I could just kind of do what, what I wanted to do. And I also ate out a lot and I never really eat out um, in Chicago and it's like a restaurant month. So a lot of good food for, for way cheaper than usual. So yeah, overall really into this and for me it's just like an ever, I guess just kind of ongoing project is to like behave like the, the person that I want to be. So I'm like, if I want to be a solo traveler, if I want to be like an adventurous woman, then you know, then like I have to do it like you can't be like I want to be a solo traveler then like never travel solo right so um so this is kind of like my first step and super excited to see where I might go next like I don't know this is fun um so I'm gonna get to yoga I need to get going um because I know the class is full but the instructor said he would fit me in so I'm gonna try to get there a little bit earlier than I did yesterday um and then I think I'm gonna eat at Malibu Farms and then head to the airport. Peace.